Krita is probably the best drawing program I've ever used in my life. Hey guys, one by Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are in Krita. I've had so many different comments about、um, drawing programs. And、uh, and I've used Krita before on the channel. You guys asked me so much about it. I figured today we will do a bit of a tips tutorial because I can't really give you a whole big tutorial on everything in Krita because there's just so much stuff. So I figure、uh, I've been using it for about、uh, two years now, and I think I'll give you a bunch of tips that I've picked up along the way of just using the application. Like I said, the, the biggest way you're gonna learn something like like Krita. Um, and all of its nooks and crannies is just to get in there and get your feet wet with it、um, and do it、uh, yourself. But I will give you a couple of tips that I've come up with. We're gonna start up a new canvas here, and、um, usually I use twenty five sixty fourteen forty, but today we're doing something a bit different. I have a, almost a square canvas here,、um, and what I'm gonna do is if you if I'm gonna, I mean I'm using a tablet right now by the way I'm not using my mouse mouse I'm gonna assume you're also using a tablet and if you're using a mouse it's gonna be much more difficult to navigate and to draw obviously、um, I'll leave a link down in the description for and I'll probably put it up in a card for the、uh, graphic tablet that I have it's really pretty nice it's not too expensive saved up for it for a while. Um, but、uh, but yeah, we can get started. If I use the bottom button on my pen while dragging around, I can pan around the canvas so I can move around、um, pretty simply and pretty easy. If I hold down Control and do the same button, it zooms in and out. If I hold down Shift and use the same bottom button, then it'll rotate my canvas, and that is nice. Now let's say you rotate your canvas like this to get it to get a nice. A nicer angle on、uh, some kind of edge you're drawing, right? Maybe something like that. But now you want to rotate your canvas back. How do you do that? You can hit five on the top of your keyboard to put that back. And you also have one, two, three, and four.、Uh, I'm sorry, one, two, three.、Uh, wait, what was it? Okay, one. One will zoom it to 100%.、Uh, three will zoom it to 37%, and、uh, five will five will rotate it backwards. So. Uh, that's that right there. You can also do the same exact same exact thing I just showed with、uh, with view up here. You can go and turn、uh, and turn. Wait, what was that at?、Uh, ba 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 ba. Oh, right here. Image, not not view. You can rotate right here as well, and then in view、uh, or somewhere you can zoom as well.、Uh, yeah. All right. So moving on.、Uh, if I want to go ahead and、uh, change my brush, I can hit this button up here. And change、uh, my brush by、uh, by scrolling through these nice brush presets that Krita comes with,、um, and choose one that I want. Just start painting with it over here, testing it out. Maybe I want to change some of the things. I'm gonna make a, 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 a separate video on brushes because there's so much stuff to go over. I mean, look at all this all this stuff that we have here. It's just it's crazy. It's insane.、Um, so I'm gonna leave this for now. You, like I said, you can go ahead and choose some brushes. Just get started、uh, painting with all these different brushes.、Uh, let's say I finally chose one that I want to use. Go ahead and paint with it in our canvas. Uh, once again, zoom in, holding down、uh, Control and using my my bottom button on my、um, on my pen. Delete that.、Um, over on the right hand side, we have colors and br color colors, brushes and layers here. If I hit this button, we can add in a new layer. And if I hit this drop down box, we can add in、uh, many different types of layers. If I wanted to, let's say I draw, let me change the size. Let's say I drew this giant black circle. Maybe I want to go ahead and only be able to draw. This blue color inside the black. So I don't. I want to do a rim light, but I don't want it to, you know, bleed out into the white. That 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 that's a problem. I only want it to be on the black. The way we can do that is if I go ahead and and right click my um my layer with the the black circle, and go to group and add a new group uh quick clipping group right there. What this will do is if I drop down my size, I can paint now inside of the black. And not have it spill out into the white, which is exactly what I needed. It's so perfect. Look at that. Now, if I were to go ahead and drag this layer outside of that group, you can see exactly what we've drawn.、Uh, much better than、uh, than than that. So、um, that's that's a really quick and easy way of getting that done. Why else can I show you really quickly a couple more、uh, tips to make your life easier? Oh, I got it. So let's say I'm sketching. Let me delete that. Let's say I'm sketching a、uh, a new a new piece of art, a new masterpiece. Uh, let me bump my brush size up to thirty.、Uh, let's say I'm sketching something new. Maybe I have,、uh, you know, a head here, right? I have a head. This is really sloppy, by the way.、Um, something like that, right? 
and I have a neck. This brush is not the best. Let me just change it really quickly. That one. Uh, there we go. No, not that one. The other one. That's the wrong one. I picked. I, there was three I could pick. I picked the wrong one. Uh, so here we go. I have this. Maybe I have a, a, a neck, a jaw, whatever, some shoulders. Maybe I want to rotate this guy's head. I can choose this this little lasso tool right here, the fourth one out of one, two, three, four. Uh, and we can just draw a circle around this guy's neck uh, and, and just grab his head. Now I can go up here and use this button to move this, just the selected piece around and rotate it. Maybe I want him to be looking up some more or something like that. Maybe I want to scale it. If I just scale it, it'll, it'll free scale. But if I hold down shift, then it'll uh, scale with a lock on it. Maybe this guy's head's huge. Maybe something like that. Maybe I want to make it a bit thicker, maybe a bit thinner. Uh, shorter up oh, shorter and if I grab the edge and you see how it has those two arrows that go back and forth like that if I do that then I can shear it which is pretty sweet so that's cool I can also move the anchor to have it rotate on a, on a, on a hinge or an axis um, so that's pretty that's pretty nice like that I'll go ahead and do something like that and I'll grab my brush back and then on the layer will continue to go and then we can just go ahead and start painting I'll deselect that and then we can just start going ahead and painting once again uh, something like that. Yeah, pretty sweet, huh? Alrighty, so what I, I want to get in one more tip here before this video is uh, before this video is over. What can I what can I show you? Ooh, I know. All right, so let's say I'm um, once again. Let's keep that sketch. Uh, maybe I want to bucket fill the background to be like a uh, like a light gray, maybe like this blue. Yeah, that's better. Like this blue. I go up to the bucket fill uh, thing right here, and I go ahead and I, I just hit that button. Hit that button, but you see there's a problem. You see there's all these white spaces. If I were to go ahead and hide our sketch, you can see it bucket filled uh, everything except for what's on top of it. So it's really weird how Krita does this. Um, and I'm not really sure why they chose to have it work this way, but it does. So uh, pretty much what will happen is if I go ahead and I paint this giant black splotch here, on all these sides whatever is visible will not be bucket filled so oh, let me do that in a different layer so even if it's on a different layer it won't it won't no 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 <laughs> that's not what I want all right so let's do that again and the background now we have on our first layer we have the sketch then on the second layer we have these two lines no matter what layer it's on if it's visible the bucket fill will not fill over top of that it's really strange so if I go ahead and hide our sketch you can see our sketch was not bucket filled and the lines are also not bucket filled. So I have to actually make sure I go ahead, undo that. Um, let me add that one back. No, add, add it. No, no, add it back. There we go. Uh, so if I go ahead and I hide all my other layers, then bucket fill, you can see that now it works properly. And I can also go ahead and put our uh, put our, our stuff back. It was, it was a bit uh, faded right there because you saw I hit uh, control Y by accident. And I turned soft proofing on, so don't mind that. Uh, so you can see how now that since we've hit our layers, then bucket filled, we now have a full bucket fill background. So I figured that out the hard way many, many times of me uh, dealing with that, that quite annoying feature. But uh, really quickly, I'll just add in a bit of a gradient. Uh, the default gradient is always on grayscale. Uh, sorry, uh, color to transparency. You have to make sure and change that to two colors. Um, and then we can go ahead and just draw the same thing. Now you can see with this, it will also, uh, it will also, you don't have to hide the layers for this, so that's fine. Uh, we can also go ahead and go to tool, tool options, change it from radi radial to linear, and then we have a uh, linear gradient instead of a uh, instead of a, a, a point based gradient. So that's that's going to be it for the tips. A couple of tips. I might do some more tips later on in the future, but that's going to be all for today's video. We can delete that right there. Maybe one more thing. Just can I can I get one more thing for you guys? Is there one more thing that's important enough to say? Um, I, I don't think there is. I think that's pretty much all the basics of things that I've come up with. I'll be doing more tips in the future, and I'll be doing more uh, painting tutorials, drawing tutorials, and stuff like that in the future. I do love uh, I do love drawing a lot, so we'll be doing a lot of that stuff in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, bye-bye.